Hi guys, Casper7001 here, and today we are back with a UFC predictions video where I'll be giving my predictions and betting tips for UFC 296 Edwards vs Covington. It is an insanely stacked card, this one. It's on to end the year, they've coming out of a banger, honestly. This the main event, the prelims, honestly, everything about this card is just insane. I've been doing quite well on my picks recently. If you've been uh, following my last couple videos, I started on like Alan vs. Craig, and we've done every UFC event up until this one. And we're going to jump straight into it. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 fights. Damn, it is stacked, this card. And we kick it off with the early prelim of Randy Brown and Muslim Salikov. And I think I know who I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to pick Randy Brown. I mean, he, has, he did lose to Jack Della Maddalena not too long ago. But apart from that, and he lost to Vicente Luque. But I mean... Apart from them two losses, in his last, like, low, however many fights that was between them, he's he's just won all the rest of them. I think he's a really good fighter. Um, he's just gotten lucky a few times. Muslim Salikov, on the other hand, um, I don't know how old he is. I'm pretty sure he's... Let me I'll just check. I'm pretty sure he's getting on a bit by now. And um, I just I just think he's getting, like, the end of his career. 39. Damn, he's old as hell. Man. He's Still, he's all right. He did... Come off a win against Andre Fialo. Uh, he lost his lead. He's got two wins out of his last three. No, two losses in his last three. So that's why I'm going to pick Randy Brown. Now, moving up the card, we have Martin Boudet versus Shamil Gaziev. And to be honest with you, I've probably it's probably a 50-50 if I'm being honest. It's like a heavyweight matchup. It only takes one like punch and it puts one of them out. So I am gonna I'm gonna go with um Shamil Gaziev, uh, I just feel like I watched I watched his uh, performance on the Contender series, uh, so I actually know who this guy is. Even he's, he's just I think this is his first yeah first fight in the UFC right here, and he got the submission. So he shows he he can he's got a load of KOs and he's got a few submissions on his record. So I think he's he, I think he is the pick to go for. Then next up on the card we have Andre Philly and Lucas Almeida fighting each other. And this is probably one of my less confident picks of the card. I've got to say, I mean, I, I've seen, I watched um, Philly. I think I've only, I've only seen, yeah, I watched him lose to Woods. So um, that wasn't the best. He's he's only had one win in his last one, two, three, four. He's only had one win in his last five performances. So he's twenty two and ten. So he's not bad, obviously. He won no contest in there as well. But Luke Almeida, on the other hand, he's Brazilian. Already a good sign. Fourteen and two. He is coming off submission to Pat Sabatini, but I've, Pat Sabatini is pretty good, I've got to say. And he's got a few, uh, he's got submission, KO. I, f I think Luke Almeida will get this done. Yeah, Almeida, he's the younger guy. I feel like he, I feel like he's just got the skills to beat Philly in this one. Then, up the card, we have Tagir Ulambekov versus Cody Durden. And I think I'm going to go with Ulambekov, for, to be honest with you. I feel like... Yeah, I do feel like he's a dangerous guy. He's just coming off a submission win. He did lose to Tim Elliott, but can you blame him? Like Tim Elliott, we just watched him uh, in his last fight, last weekend. I got that I bet against him, and he actually proved me wrong. So Tim Elliott, fair play to you. So I'm not going to judge him for a decision loss to Tim Elliott. Uh, he beat Nascimento, I think he's on Bruno Silva. So he has got a few good wins under his belt, uh, Ulan Bekov and Durden. I mean, he's not bad either. I can't lie. It's he, he has like his last loss was against Makayev, and he's on quite a run at the minute. But it's a coin toss. I'm gonna go with Ulan Bekov. Moving up the card, we then have Alonzo Manyfield versus Dustin Jacoby, and I think um, I think just D Dustin Jacoby will get the win here. I, I watched his uh, last fight. Did he knocked out in what was his name? Enzechekwu, Enzechekwu, and after that, I thought that was a really good performance. I actually, I think I picked uh, in, in Enzechekwu to win that one. He proved me wrong, so uh, I feel like yeah, he's lost a clear round to Mirza Kananov, but to be fair, he's got a lot of wins under his belt and a few good wins as well. And I just feel like um, Menefield, he's, he's he's not that great really. Like he won, he beat Jimmy Crute by submission, fair enough, but then he did draw to him in then their last fight. So, um, and he did, and also I can't get past the William Knight loss on your record, mate. That is, that is not good. But, uh, yeah, Dustin Jacoby, I think he'll do it. And the next fight on the card is Casey O'Neill versus 
Ariane Lipsky. And we get our first women's fight of the night. Uh, as you know, I'm terrible. At, well, I think I'm like 50-50 with uh, every women's fight I've predicted so far on this channel. They just, I just can't predict them, man. I sometimes get them right, sometimes fails horribly. Who knows? But I am going to pick uh, Casey O'Neill to win this one. Uh, it says in here she's Scottish. Uh, that's good. Um, I'm English, so I'll root for her. But, um, yeah, she's 9-1. and one. She only, She's only lost the last fight, which is a decision, to Jennifer Meyer. So I think I think she looks quite dangerous. She's got a few KOs, a few submissions. I, I think Casey Neal will win this one. Obviously, Lip, Lipsky's not a bad fighter. I mean, she's coming off two uh, decision wins. But one of them was a split decision to Gatto. And uh, she also lost to um, Shevchenko. And I think uh, Casey O'Neill actually beat her. So, uh, yeah, I think Casey O'Neill will do this one. Now we have an interesting fight here. Cody Garbrandt versus Brian Kelleher. I do think Cody Garbrandt will win this one. Um, just the fact that it's like, it's like, I think they're trying to give him a win because Brian Kelleher, he's not that good, really. 24 and 14. I mean, he's got a lot of wins, but I mean, he's quite a few losses. He's coming off two, uh, submission losses as well. One to Umano Megmenov and Mario Bautista, both in the first round. So it's not, he's not got a great, um, like win streak or anything coming into this. He's never actually been, uh, knocked out before. Well, no, no, he's been knocked out once. In his entire career, which is crazy to be fair. Uh, so I don't know if um, Garbrandt will get this done by knockout, but I definitely feel like uh, Garbrandt will win this one. Then next up, it's the second women's fight on the card: Irene Aldana versus Carol Rosa. And um, although Aldana looked terrible against Amanda Nunes in her last fight, I am going to pick her to win this one. I mean, if she actually threw a punch, it would help her to be honest. So. I feel like she'll have learned from that loss and she'll come up uh, better against um, Carol Rosa, who is still a decent fighter. I've got to give it to her. She's coming off, uh, like, I j if you just look at women's records, just decisions. Like, Rosa ain't finishing anyone, realistically. She's had 11 decisions in her time. So I just think Aldana will just uh, win this one, either by knockout or um, decision. Now, next up on the card, we have quite a... F uh, good fight. I'm looking forward to this one actually. Josh Emmett versus Bryce Mitchell. Um, this one's interesting because I think Bryce Bryce Mitchell's just coming in on a short notice. I can't remember who Emmett was meant to be fighting. I can't remember to be honest with you, but um, yeah, I I or, although he's coming on short notice, I think Mitchell's going to win this. Um, he looked impressive against Danny Gate. Like I think he won that uh, unanimously. He's sixteen and one. Only lost to Ilya Tapuria, so Josh Emmett. So um. Yeah, I just feel like he's got the skills, and I think Bryce Mitchell's a problem. Definitely is a danger of like Josh Emmett catching uh, Bryce Mitchell and knocking him out, but I feel like it's a slim chance, and I feel like Bryce Mitchell will just like dominate him in the grappling, just take him down, maybe get submission, but who knows? I just think Mitchell's going to win. And now, I think this is the main card now, or was that on the main card? No, I think this is the start of the main card. Vicente Luque versus Ian Gary. And as much as I would like Luke to win, I would love him to not carry out, to be honest with you, after all this stuff that's uh, on the internet of Gary and that nowadays. But uh, I feel like Gary's going to get this. I mean, yeah, all the logic is pointing towards Gary with this one, 13-0. His last two wins, very impressive when I was watching them uh, against D-Rod and Neil Magny. I mean, to, he didn't finish Neil Magny, which uh, is an issue, but it, it, I think he got one of the scorecards of that fight was like 30-24 or something daft like that. He got like two 10-8 rounds or something. It was mental. But yeah, Ian Gary will win. I'd probably pick Gary by decision. I mean, I'd love to. I'd love for a Luke knockout. I just don't see it happening. Now, another fight of the card, which, same story, I would love uh, Tony Ferguson to win because, man, he's such a legend. But this, this, is, this is horrible to see against... Paddy Pimlet, who I do think will win this fight. Um, he's he's much younger. He's definitely got some hype around him. Well, he kind of died after his uh, loss to Jared Gordon. Well, win. Kind of win. <laughs> Interesting win. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I feel like, apart from that, he is, he is quite impressive, Paddy Pimlet. He's got quite a few submissions and that. I feel like, I feel like Tony Ferguson, I just can't see Tony Ferguson winning this fight, to be honest. That's my main part. My my main point is I can't see uh, Tony Ferguson winning. So by that, it means Paddy Pimlet's going to win. Because, I mean, oh, it was, it was just, I was watching his fight against like Bobby Green. And I was just like, why, man? 
why we have to see this. But um, he might look uh, probably first round, Tony Ferguson probably look good, and we're like, okay, this might he might get might get a knockout or something here. But then probably second round, Paddy will take him down, be too strong for him, and then he'll just submit him. It's either going to be a Paddy Pimmer submission or decision. I have a feeling. Damn, I forgot how stacked this card was. We're like we're still on the main card, and we've got Shavkat Rachmanov versus Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Now this is it's a good fight. Like on paper, but realistically, Shavkat is gonna dominate uh, Wonder Boy. Seventeen, like this is his record's mental. Seventeen and 17 finishes. Like, imagine he goes. Imagine he like he beats uh, Stephen Thompson, then goes on and wins the title undefeated, and all of his wins are like uh, finishes. That would be just incredible. Yeah, Shavkat's definitely the biggest problem at welterweight. I don't think Wonder Boy will be able to stop him. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, yeah, he's, he beat Kevin Holland. That was brutal. But uh, he, he did lose to Balam Howard and Gilbert Burns, both by decision. So I do feel like it's going to be a Shavkat um, submission. And now to the co-main event. Another title fight here because um, there's two on this card, which isn't mental. <laughs> I am so looking forward to this card. I don't know how many times I've said that. But I just I cannot wait. I can't, cannot wait. Here we have uh, Alexander Pantoja versus Brandon Royval. And um, I know who I think I'm going to pick here. Let me just uh, have another, another look. Pandora's just 26 and 5. Very good uh, record at the minute. He actually, oh, this is rematch. I don't think I, no, I, I didn't see, uh, if you didn't know, I, I'm pretty new to MMA. I've only started watching, like, since December last year or something. So, I have not, I, apart from, like, fights I've watched on re replay and that, I've uh, not seen a lot of fights. But, yeah, yeah this is actually a rematch, I didn't even realise um, so he actually got the submission last time. Fair enough. Brandon Royval, uh, fifteen and six. <clears throat> um, I do feel like Pantoja will win this one. I mean, I, I saw it, his performance against uh, Moreno was enough for to tell me he's he's a good champion. I mean, uh, Royval, I just don't think he's at the same skill level as Pantoja, and he's already been beat by him before. So I'm going to pick Pantoja. And now. The main event, you know who I'm picking. Leon Edwards is going to win this. Like, is it even a competition, really? I mean, Colby hasn't fought in, like, uh, over a year. And that was his uh, win over Masvidal. I mean, then he was, then he had, then he lost to uh, Usman, beat Woodley, then lost to Usman before that as well. I just, I like, Edwards just looked so impressive uh, in, in his last, when he beat Usman, like, um, when he, like, the rematch, uh, when he beat Usman again. They just, yeah, I think he's just on a different level. I mean, in all respect, I mean, I think uh, Balal Mohammed should, in theory, be given the title shot realistically, because he is on like a massive like win streak. But uh, we no one wants to see that, so I guess we've got Colby instead. Probably, definitely doesn't deserve the title shot, but I'm all for it. If it means Leon Edwards wins, it means he wins. I feel like it'll be um, an Edwards decision win, but if he finds a knockout, I'll be happy either way. So, guys. There's my predictions for this week's UFC card, Edwards versus Covington. If you guys agree or disagree, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. It means a lot to me. We're on our way to a thousand subs, so every sub is much appreciated. So that's all of today's video. I'm very much looking forward to this card, so I'll see you guys then.